This is which MacBook you should buy for your budget. <laughs> Welcome everybody to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here, and we have an entire Apple lineup to discuss in this video. Now I'm gonna help you decide which is the best portable MacBook for you based on your budget and your needs. So let's go ahead and dive into this. I'm gonna break the video down into three general price points. Below $2,000, giving you options within that subcategory, $2,000 to $3,000, and then above $3,000. So let's start at the best laptop, the best MacBook, below two grand. Looking at that $2,000 budget, if you're looking for the best budget Mac, the cheapest way you can get is the best bang for your buck, I gotta recommend the M2 MacBook Air, hands down. Yes, Apple does still offer the M1 MacBook Air, but there's a few reasons that I would not pick that up. First, it's only a $100 difference between the M1 MacBook Air and the new and shiny M2 MacBook Air. The M2 has a full redesign, this glorious, you know, flat tapered stuff is gone. It just looks amazing. I love it. It comes in this new midnight color that while it gets fingerprinty, really looks cool. And this is the newer version of the machine. So you have an M2 chip instead of the M1 chip. So you have a redesign, a faster eight core CPU, an additional GPU core going from a seven core to an eight core GPU. And there's dedicated media encode and decode engines for better video editing. That's what you're gonna do on your MacBook Air. So between the two, I would say spend the extra $100 and go for the M2 MacBook Air and skip out on the M1 MacBook Air. If we're still discussing, below $2,000, but you just want anything within that range that I think would be a good bet, I would say consider the new 15-inch MacBook Air. You could outfit the 13-inch MacBook Air, adding more storage and more memory to it, but honestly, I just love the 15-inch MacBook Air. You get two more inches of screen real estate here, but it's still super light and portable. It's just ultra thin, comes with a new design. This is the newest machine that Apple has out in terms of portables, and I am in love with it. So if you're looking for just below two grand, you wanna be able to get something in that price range. This is new, has a larger screen, and you can still outfit it with a little bit more storage or memory if that's your thing, and still keep it under $2,000. Looking at two grand to three grand. On the lower end of the budget, you have a few different options that I'd identified. You could spend $2,100 for a 13 inch M2 MacBook Air with 16 gigs of memory and a two terabyte SSD. You can get a 15 inch MacBook Air with 24 gigs of memory and a one terabyte SSD, or you can just spend two grand and get yourself a 14 inch MacBook Pro, which comes with an M2 Pro processor on the inside. Now, the thing is, I would still think most people should lean towards the MacBook Air, whether the 13 or the 15, and spec it out a little bit and spend that $2,100. Yes, the MacBook Pro is a little bit cheaper and you get the ports and the M2 Pro and the ProMotion display, all those kind of things. But for most people, I think they're gonna care more about the internal storage versus some of the additional features on the 14 inch MacBook Pro. If you really want the active cooling and to boost performance as much as possible, sure, take the plunge and jump up to the 14 inch MacBook Pro. But if we're talking bottom of the two to $3,000 price range, I'd say get one of the spec'd out MacBook Airs. If we're getting higher up in the two to $3,000 price range, I'd recommend considering the 16 inch MacBook Pro. The 16 inch MacBook Pro starts around $2,500 and you're getting a few things, including the larger screen. So you have all the benefits of the 14 inch MacBook Pro, but in a larger body. So I think that's a better balance. You're getting the screen real estate as well as the better performance. The 14 inch MacBook Pro is a great portable machine and you can save a little bit if you wanna consider the smaller screen, but I think the larger screen is tempting to a lot of people. I would lean towards like the Air or the Station MacBook Pro. The 14 MacBook Pro is just not in my sweet spot. Finally, if we're talking above $3,000, you probably know what you want. At that point, you can pick what you want. You can go with a maxed out or at least highly configured 14 or 16 inch MacBook Pro. We were talking five to $6,000 when you're maxing these machines out, so you don't have to get that far because Apple does charge quite a premium for, you know, 96 gigs or whatever it is of storage on the inside there. Uh, you can definitely pull back on memory and on storage to get what you need, but these are not configurable after the fact. So if you're spending more than $3,000 and you're looking at that prosumer or professional price point, get what you need while you are getting it. But you at least have the option between the 14 and 16 inch for an M2 Max processor and whatever additional configurations you need, whether you're sticking close to 3,000 or you wanna push it to the limits. 
Let me know what you guys think. There's a lot of Macs to choose from. Let me know down below in the comments or on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU which Mac you prefer. If you could pick out any one, which one would it be? Let me know down below. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts. Additionally, if you want to get some good deals on Apple's Macs, we have the Apple's at a price guide, which is updated daily with all the deals that we can find online, coupons, exclusive discounts. So be sure to check that out if you're at all in the market. Otherwise, stay tuned. I got a lot more videos coming your way.